Welcome back to Old Oaks TV. It's a beautiful fall day in Texas here. Uh, officially, I think it's the second day of fall. And uh, that means winter is coming. <laughs> People still say that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's, the rain is coming for sure. And one thing that means is water inside the bus. Because I've got super crunchy seals in there. And I know it leaks. Uh, I went to Arizona last year, or this year, in uh, January, and that was a long drive with whistling windows. Man, it was horrible. I had yellow tape everywhere on this thing to try and seal it up. That's three days driving with a whistling window is terrible. Um, so we're gonna get into these door seals and these uh, crazy window frame seals. There's like a million pieces in there. Um, if you watched a couple episodes back, you saw Wolfsburg West, our friends out there, hooked us up. We got all the door seals for the front. We got the cargo door seals back here. Um, those we already did. I turned the hose on it and nothing inside got wet. So I think we did a good job. Uh, I don't know for sure. I haven't really had it on any kind of trips. I haven't had a chance to really drive it. Um, Bus Fest is coming up in a couple weeks and uh, that'll be the first real test. You know, see if I can keep that cold air out. Um, it might cool off a little bit at night. Fingers crossed. So we're gonna come in here and take this door apart. I'm gonna take the frame inside. Uh, because it's a lot easier to do this at a table inside uh, you know with the AC in a control environment and you know you don't have people coming up trying to bug you and sell you stuff like in <laughs> one of our other videos uh, so I'm gonna pull this frame out I'll let you watch and then uh, we'll jump inside we'll take it all apart we'll get these new seals in just like that easy money so let's jump in here let's go okay hey, thanks man Looks like we got some parts for uh, something. Ah, oh. looks like uh, Weber rebuild kits. Thanks, Amazon. <laughs> Never fails. Start filming in the, uh, the old driveway, and people start pulling up trying to deliver me packages. That's for another video. Uh, all right, so what we got here is the door panel, which is very easy to take off. Um, depending on who had your bus before you, you could have one of a hundred different ways to hold this thing on. Um, normally it would be those little buttons that pop into the holes which are in the door already. Usually by the time you get to uh, where we are now, you got, you know, sheet metal screws or duct tape or who knows what. Maybe you don't even have the panel, I don't know. Um, I just happen to have a handful of uh, sheet metal screws holding this thing together. Um, down here is the, the paddle that opens and closes the door that's got one big screw in it. And um, you got to watch out for these because these can get stuck and they'll break off or the, the handle will snap off. If you have an earlier bus, you actually have the little handle inside and they don't have the screw usually. So you're stuck with like a little pin and you got to push the door panel back. And, We'll try to get this thing off and, and they always end up breaking off so just be really careful with this part if you've never had it off I've had mine off already so I know it's gonna come off pretty easy um, and then once we get in there I can show you where the bolts are there's not that many to pull this whole frame out uh, but really all we need uh, the impact because I know it's already been off once and I don't want to sit there and turn those screws out by hand so I'm gonna use this to pull the screws out and then uh, once you get inside you need a uh, ratchet with a uh, 13 millimeter, I believe, if memory serves correctly, from 20 years ago. Um, you've got a couple of these 13s in there. I believe up inside there's a 10 millimeter or an 11 millimeter. Two, three. Yeah, and then there's the two big screws on the side here. Those are tricky too. Um, they always get stuck. And. Uh, I'm, I'm against it, but I'm going to go ahead and do the impact uh, on these two. I'm hoping they come off. So far, like I said before in all these other videos, everything's been coming off this bus pretty easy. So I'm going to take a chance and, and see, but if it looks like they're getting stuck, uh, we may have to break out the impact hammer, uh, hammer screwdriver deal and, and go manually at it uh, just to try and get them loose. But fingers crossed that this thing comes apart. I haven't had this off yet um, since I've had the bus and I don't think it's ever been off looking at these crispy seals so uh, we'll pull the door panel off and then I'll get in there and show you where the screws are you got to take out to get this thing off we'll pull it up and then uh, we'll jump inside and we'll, we'll take her apart 
and hopefully get it put back together then we can do the other side tomorrow it takes a few hours or at least half a day depending on who does it um, it's probably going to take me a while to do this one uh, because it's been a while so let's get this door panel off All right, well, the uh, 13s came off pretty good and the uh, little screws on the end came off really nice too. I uh, got super lucky. Uh, just as these were starting to feel kind of stuck and terrible, um, they, they let go and they came right off. So, turn that one on. Um, so it's, everything should be loose. Let's see if we can get it out. about five minutes it's not too bad so we'll clean all this up and chase all these threads inside so everything can go back together you know nice the way it should this thing is like the original it's the original seal I'm sure just because it's got that factory fresh smell it's super gross when you compare it to the new one. We got everything in exactly the right spot. Wolf, Wolfsburg weapon, man, they do a great job on their rubber seals. So let's uh let's actually for the other side. Let's jump in to the house. We'll get this other window torn apart and we'll take a look, see what we got, what we're working with. Alright. So here's our window. Um, I've already had a rough time with it. Uh, it took me an hour and more curse words than can be put on YouTube uh, trying to get these little screws off here that hold the bottom portion of the frame uh, into these vertical pieces here. They always rest. Um, it's this little it's like a little flat head and a little nut and a tiny little washer. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but they always break because they're just in bed, a bad spot. So I'm gonna go get some new ones uh, tomorrow. Um, they're just little flat heads on this side and then the little nuts sit on the inside here. So uh, I went ahead and broke all four of them off. Good for me. So what that lets you do is uh, Gently, because you don't want to break your glass, which is in there like that. Let you pull the bottom out. And this is one of those little felt tracks here that we're going to be replacing. You do have to trim these a little bit. Um, they, they give you more than you need because everyone's a little bit different. Um, so, take the old one out, but we're going to kind of keep it as a pattern. Um, so this is the track. This is all going to get cleaned up uh, real nice. I don't know if I'm going to paint it yet. I'm still thinking about that. Uh, if I want to, you know, because you, you don't want to take them apart. You'll see why. I mean, I already broke the screws and I kind of like the patina to match the bus, but I kind of think maybe I ought to paint them and, and keep them nice. So I don't know. I'll sort that out tomorrow. Uh, we've got these little flathead screws here which hold the lock strip in. Uh, once we've replaced that felt, we can put that back in. That's why this is cut out on that side there, is to uh, allow for that. So here's our, our small stationary glass. Don't drop these. Um, I'm gonna clean this up with uh, you know, probably some TSP and a, a scrubby pad or something to try and get them, you know, get them extra clean. 
Uh, but I'm gonna keep my Buses by the Bridge sticker on there for sure. Uh, so we'll put the glass to the side. There's another piece of rubber in here, and it's gonna be it's one of these guys. This one right here. Just like that. See how it's a little longer than the new one? So this is actually in good shape. You don't want to lose this little tab that fits up inside here in this felt. That's the top. Right? I don't know. Now I got it all screwed up. <laughs> Here's the new seal that goes in. So that's going to go in here after we get it clean. And that should just drop, drop right in. Uh, so there's that one. Uh, I don't think they gave the seal. I didn't see it. I'll look in the bag again for this. And there's a little spring in there. You don't want to lose that. So I'm not going to take this apart yet. Uh, because there's a little spring that you know, mechanism there. So we'll clean that up, but I'm not going to take it apart yet. Just put that to the side. This, there's a, you know, one big old felt. And here's the other one. Uh, those are always coming loose. And, uh, here's your replacements for those obviously the one with the little notches on it is gonna go with this guy because it has a little notches on it and uh, this one is this one here and it doesn't look like it has any holes in it so I think it should just yeah that'll just press in there the fun one is gonna be this is the finger ruiner. This big one. It's a nightmare to get in there. Alright, so that one is that one. That's the back of the bed window. You gotta pull this out. So you gotta take this right in there. Is a uh, one of those washers like on a axle nut. You gotta bend those tabs down and you pull this 13 off. Watch out for that spring. Uh, that's pretty strong, and that's actually how you adjust the tension. So make sure these doors don't swing shut, or these windows don't swing shut on you when you're driving. Um, you can flip these out and tighten that up just like on a bug and then uh, flip these little wings back up. You can only do that so many times though because these will break, uh, you know, too many bends. And I'm still looking for the uh, bent wing latch. Uh, I don't have one on this side. The other side's got one that's been replaced at some point. Uh, so I'm gonna find one of those, but I can do that after. I don't have to take this all apart to put that in there because it pops on with a little clip. So, uh, and then we've got the outer seal which is here. This is the one that runs around the outside of the door like on a bug pop out. And then here's this, this little guy. Something like, yeah, something like that. These are the ones that suck putting in. They're no fun. There's a special tool. I'll show you how that special tool works. So for now, uh, we'll just get to cleaning everything and then uh, get this guy out and get this whole seal out and get it all cleaned up and ready to ready to put back together all right I forgot to tell you about the uh, outer seal and uh, the outer seal shaped like a T like this and it fits you know around the outside of this this frame here in these two little grooves like that and the seal kind of grips underneath them um, if you don't know how to get them out, they're super hard to get out. But if you know the trick, like I'm about to show you, super easy to get out. Take a nice sharp knife, uh, and this works for bug pop-outs as well, because it's the same kind of seal. Actually, I think it's even the same seal. Uh, you take a nice sharp knife, basically drag that along both sides. Get underneath that little lip there. 
go along both sides and this will actually pull right out and you'll get both of the little tails um, then you get in there with a pick and you can kind of pick out whatever's left you know, in there. Um, the corners are a little tricky. Oh, this one didn't get cut all the way. Ah. Corners can be a little bit tricky, but, but if you do it that way, man, they come out so easy. Just cut along the outside edges, pull the middle off, pull the sides out. She's clean. And then you take a pick or a wire brush or something. You know, make sure that the insides are super clean. Uh, makes it so much easier to put these things together when the frames are clean and not rusty. Uh, there's a couple other tricks I'll show you in the next episode when we get to start putting this thing back together. Uh, but disassembly, you know, being careful, not losing any of the little washers, uh, not breaking any bolts like I did. Uh, so we're going to have to replace some hardware. But take it apart carefully, you know, kind of remember how it goes. Do one at a time so that you can look at the other one to see, you know, man, where does this thing go? You can look at the other one to figure it out since you haven't taken it apart yet, hopefully. Um, so that's good. I'm going to keep cleaning this up and then uh, in the next episode we'll, we'll uh, get it maybe painted or, you know, at least super clean and then we'll get to assemble it and I'll show you how to do that. Um, it's pretty time consuming so I don't want to make this super long. Um, yeah. Uh, so catch us on our oldvolks.club, you can see our Facebook and our Instagram there, you can see what the gang's up to, you can catch us on uh, volksamerica.com, got the magazines coming out, Volks America, Volks Mania, uh, Volks America's coming out again soon, the next issue's coming out 14, I think, and then issue 2 of Volks Mania will soon follow that, so check us out, volksamerica.com, check out our friends at VW Life. Uh, they got that Harvest Beetle thing going. It's a badass car. I can't wait to see that car go to somebody at the raffle at the Harvest Show. Links everywhere. Check them out. That's it. I'm going to keep working. Thanks for watching.